Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today folks, full disclaimer from the start on this, we're going to be looking at a sort of Brad Paisley type setup. Now I cannot play like Brad Paisley, very few people can, and if you want to hear some examples of Brad playing or his amp rig or pedal combinations or whatever played really really well, probably best go watch someone else's video because I'm likely to make more mistakes in my playing today than Brad's made in a lifetime. Now I wanted to kind of do this video because I was emailing Dr Z few months ago and I was telling them about the two Z amps that I use here for most of my demos and how I love their pairing and they very interestingly told me that this combination is exactly the same combination that Brad Paisley uses live. So he's used a lot of things over the years, I'm sure you like me have spent many hours watching rig rundowns on YouTube and things and he's used you know obviously a lot of Dr Z amps, he's used original AC30s, Bruno amps, I think he's used some of the sort of the Ken Fisher train wreck amps but he's very firmly in the Dr Z camp nowadays and he's had a few sort of signature runs with, with Dr Z. So the two amps I have here are as I said the two amps he according to Dr. Z, uses live, which is the Z-Rec and the DB4. Now, this is a really interesting pairing, and it's one that I sort of naturally gravitated towards, because the Z-Rec is, is kind of based on a sort of Vox AC30 type thing. It's fairly different, but it's based around that. Whereas the DB4 is a much kind of, it's an EL84 amp, but it's not what you typically associate with the EL84 sound. It's not overly bright and chimey. It's quite dark and thumpy, and it's a lot more sort of martially than it is Vox. Now, I've always loved the combination of a Marshall and Vox amp running together. I was brought up listening to Status Quo, and that's what they're all about. So I find these two amps pair really nicely together. So whenever you watch one of my pedal demos on this channel, probably 90% of the time, it's the two Dr. Z's running together because the dark sort of thumpiness of the DB4 and the bright, chimey clarity of the Z-Rec just slot together really nicely, make everything sound pretty full frequency and it just kind of shows off sort of strengths and weaknesses of whatever bit of gear I put into it. So as I have these two amps here, I wanted to kind of make this video sort of doing an approximation of Brad's rig, but not so much to try and copy his sound or copy his playing, I'm certainly not gonna be able to do that. But I wanted to see whether this amp rig is good for, it, it, see how versatile it is more than anything else. We know it can do sort of country rock incredibly well, but what happens if you throw a fuzz at it? What happens if you throw a clon type circuit at it? So today I'm going to use my 1996 uh, Made in Japan Telecaster, which has all been customized with VI pots. It's got a Montes 53 bridge pickup in it, a bare knuckle flat 50 neck pickup. So it's kind of been gutted in terms of electronics, but it's a very, very good, bright sounding telly and of course telly is what Brad's all about. Now the main delay I'm going to use today, uh, I think Brad uses an Aquapus, a way huge Aquapus. I used to have one of those, I don't have it anymore, so I'm going to use the Analog Man ARDX20 as my main delay. Really really good high quality delay. And on top of that I'm just going to switch a few pedals in and play whatever comes to mind and just see what comes out of these amps and see how versatile this the very basic setup can be. Because as I said I use it so much when I'm recording and I just love how they pair together. Now, one small mod that's been made to the amps is the DB4 now has the Fane Ascension A60 speaker in it, which I absolutely love and it works incredibly well in this amp. So that's one small mod that isn't stock to the Dr. Z's, but aside from that, they are bog standard. They've still got the um, 6P, 14P power tubes in, so it's exactly as it would have shipped from Z, aside from that speaker swap. So. I'm really looking forward to playing this today. I'm going to turn the amps up nice and loud to get them really squishy. They are so touch sensitive, these amps. So I'm going to control the sort of amount of saturation with my picking dynamics and the volume control on the guitar and just see how they behave in a variety of different situations. So, without further ado, guys, let's get going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. 
works. Now, please do comment underneath, let me know what you thought of all that. Sorry my playing was a little sloppy in places, but oh, my ears are ringing something shocking now. That was so unbelievably loud in this room. But oh, it feels so good to play those two amazing amps turned up nice and loud. It just thumps you in the chest, it's so dynamic. And as I said at the start of the video, both those amps are so touch sensitive, you can really control the amount of breakup coming out of them almost just with your picking dynamics and especially with the guitar's volume control. It's so interactive playing these amps and like, that's why I absolutely love them. The clarity is all there, the weight is all there and it just feels so good to play. But hopefully you guys agree that it's not just a sort of one trick pony rig as it were. You can put pretty much anything into it and it just takes it and makes it sound phenomenal. Even with a really bright fuzz like the Williams Audio Tone Bender at the end there, any sort of fizz that might come out of the Z-Rec, where it's a very bright sort of amp full of clarity, is balanced out by the thumpiness of the DB4. And any kind of lack of weight you might get with how I've got the Z-Rec set, you can get a lot of low end out of it, but I have it set fairly thin, is more than made up for by the DB4. They just fit together so beautifully. And I, that's why I use them for all my demos, because they just sound so good in pretty much any situation. But as always, it's very much personal preference, so please drop in the comments what you thought of all that. Would you use this pairing? Would you use something else? Would you prefer a more sort of fender type amp in the mix? I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you guys. So thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope that was interesting and useful. Sorry my playing was a little sloppy in places. Um, please do carry on subscribing to this channel. It makes a huge, huge difference when you do that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.